Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mika and today I'm going to be reviewing one of the more popular coats at Oakenfort, specifically their kind of infamous trench coat. But before I get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's super easy and it makes me happy, so just do it and let's get into the video. Okay, so I was in need of a trench. I've posted, like last year around this time, I posted a my fall coat collection and a trench was something I didn't have which is just so crazy I can't believe I didn't have a trench so I hopped into Oakenfort because I've always been eyeing their trenches I just see them on Instagram TikTok the girls walking and I'm like damn I need that trench and my sister actually has a trench so from there so I was like I already knew I liked it I decided to get the black one just because I wanted just classic black trench and I don't really have a lot of black coats I feel at the time. I always kind of go for a color or a pattern so I was like you know what this time let me just stay simple and get black. So this is the coat. It is super long. Um, I got it for $188 Canadian um, and I got it in a size small because the small was actually the smallest size they had in store. It runs to a double extra small um, to maybe an extra large. I actually don't know the biggest size um, but I saw the small in store and there wasn't an extra small and I actually liked the way the small fit on me so that's the size I got so it has like a collar which is nice collar you know the little like lapel or, or whatever um, and then it has buttons throughout for the black the buttons are like this brown color um, and then there's about six buttons so three on each side the sleeves on the wrist it also has like a belt like a buckle on both of the wrists um, it has a pocket on both sides there's a little pull oh no but I think I can possibly just trim it um, and then it comes with a belt as well with belt loops attached the belt also has a buckle on the end so if you want to like wrap it throughout you can do that not just high waist um, and then it's extremely long so let me try it on for you guys just to kind of show you for reference I'm around 5'3 or 5'4 5'4 on a good tall day so for this small size um, how it kind of looks on me let me show well, this is how it looks after I've opened it you know it's it's lined and the pockets are lined with that same material it's kind of like Maybe heavy because of the length, but it's not like a super heavyweight coat. Um, so I don't feel like too much in it, but I also don't feel like it's a super cheap coat on me. Pockets are nice and deep. Like right now my hand's in the pocket and it's touching like above my knee. So they're nice and deep pockets. The sleeves are nice and long and it looks oversized on me. Obviously you wouldn't have to size up you can try on see what you want to do but i wanted it to be oversized and cool i didn't really want a fitted trench coat i wanted it to be like nice and big then you can see the length of the coat sorry about my fuzzy pink socks my feet got cold so i just threw on these fuzzy socks but super long literally like just grazing above my ankle i love that length a lot of the times i'm seeing trench coats right now that are like just below the butt and i'm just like i don't really want that or Touching the calf, I love Oakenfort for its super long, super oversized items. I think they just do it perfectly and it's just completely my style the way they do it. This is how the back looks. It has that kind of famous like trench detailing here. Um, and it just looks so good when you're just walking. You know, just cool girl. Just going to town, pair with anything. Right now I'm just wearing a brown crew neck and some black trousers. You can just throw on some sneakers and you just look like you're ready to go. It's just kind of a statement piece, elevates the, the outfit a little bit more without trying too hard and without you know having to put on maybe that heavy wool coat that you didn't really want to do. This is like chill, but still kind of sophisticated and still nice at the same time, and that's what I like about it. Um, and then for the how the belt will work, so you could do the belt like that, just through one. 
Um, or you can even do the belt kind of like if it were to be like just a tie waist without the buckle, you can just kind of have it like that. I'm not really bothered by the dangling section there. Um, you can even tie it into a little bow and you know, it works that way as well. So that's kind of how it looks like that with it tied. Um, I probably would leave it open just because that's my style. I just like to leave things open as much as I can. But obviously if it got cold, you can also button it. So I just buttoned the three buttons down and this is how it looks just buttoned um, open or buttoned tied. Just your traditional classic trench coat, which we all love. So that's the coat, there's nothing to really, nothing more to say, you can you can tighten this portion on the sleeves as well if you want to, um, play around with it. it, comes with the loops here, tighten the belt, play around with the belt whichever way you want, the belt can also be removed if you want to do that, um, but yeah, that's the coat. But I would say my favorite thing about the coat is probably the size, the oversizedness of it and the length. I absolutely love the length of the coat. Oakenfort knows what they're doing. Ugh, I don't. I don't know. There's just something about a long coat in the fall that just that just gets me every time. I mean, cropped. I have enough crop things. I, I don't need a crop jacket or a mid-length jacket. I want a long jacket so I feel like I'm warm and cozy. And I don't know. It's just there's something so chic about it. But that's the coat. Um, you know, if you guys are thinking about a trench, I would say maybe invest in a nice Oakenfort trench, but um, that's just my, maybe I'm a little bit biased. I, I really do like Oakenfort, uh, but yeah, that's the coat. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just comment down below and I will answer them. I mean, this was a short video, but I just thought this is kind of their infamous coat. So I wanted to do a little review on it. It also comes in a few other colors and I saw that they did drop a leather coat in their trench, which is also pretty long. So if you're interested in maybe a leather variation, you can do that as well. I love leather, but I just kind of wanted a classic trench coat and I got it. So I'm happy with it and I, I can't wait to wear it out. But in the meantime, I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe because it makes me smile. And yeah, catch you guys next week. Bye.